Hi, I'm Blake Bettner, Managing Editor of Worn and Wound. I am thrilled to be joined uh, by a good friend of ours, Mr. Paul Sweetenham. Of Hello. Fair. Paul, welcome to New York. Thank God it's been two years since we've been here. It's been too long, yes. And you've been busy. You've done some incredible things over the yeah. past few years. Uh, nothing has slowed you down, <laughs> no. seemingly. Uh, you have some beautiful new watches uh, in front of us. Tell me about what's been going on. You've got a new watch here with, the, with bronze details on the dial. So probably one of the things that we're most well known for is the Lander Green, the Fjord Green watch, the GMT in the classic case. We've just decided to celebrate that with the launch of the Lander Midnight. So everything that is silver on the Lander uh, regular watch is now bronze in the Lander Midnight. This isn't uh, necessarily a limited edition, but it's what we're calling a seasonal release. Mm. So only being released in autumn, hence the reference to the Midnight. This uh, exemplifies a lot of the qualities that uh, that I think we all find so appealing about Fair. It's something unexpected, and that seems to be a real hallmark of yeah, Fair yeah, watches. Yeah. Where do you find inspiration for some of the color schemes, the naming conventions that you use? Uh, it seems like all of your watches have a real story. Uh, where does this come from? Well, like all the great partnerships in the world, Lennon and McCartney, etc., etc., I work with a gentleman called Mike Heath, and uh, me and Mike are in that sort of back and forth relationship. He's a purist designer. Mm. And uh, I, I would say I was a conceptualizer and we sort of mold those things together. But the, color, the colors are largely ours. And they can come from kitchen cabinets. They can come from cars, mm. typically in the 50s and 60s. So there's a good range of references if you know where to look. Mm. But of course, then it's, it's then how you select them and how you blend them together, which is which is the difficult thing, because obviously you want to uh, embrace a great use of colors, but avoid ending up like a children's drawing, which <laughs> is... <laughs> how do you know when you've hit that point? Do you hit a point of that we've gone too far, we gotta pull back? Absolutely, we, uh, we have, and very recently we've done this, models got to prototype stage, hmm. and we um, have had a, what were we thinking of here? Sure, sure. These are never going anywhere, right? Yeah, so they're yeah. going to stay in the pressure drive drop. But, but do you know what? It's an iterative process, and rarely do you get it right in one cut. Occasionally yeah. you do. Actually, yeah. the lander came out in one cut, so... It's bang on. As example, the Bonina, I had a passion to want to do a white, white watch with a white bezel. You know, that was an uphill struggle because, you know, there wasn't a lot of fans for it. But, sure. But we've ended up um, coming out with a great piece. And then it's obviously blending that with interesting dimensions in the dial. So, you know, which I think sort of the Pilot, the Bradfield watch, which is very, very popular. Mm -hmm. Very untypical for a Pilot watch. And actually, a watch that's very popular with our female fan base. So a myriad of references, but we, we think they're all, if you put your thumb over the fairer, we think you, you would say, this is it's product fair. from yeah, fair absolutely and you have in but i would say relatively short period of time really defined uh, a space for, for yourself and uh, articulated your vision really well so conversely have you had things where uh, maybe it didn't come out quite as planned uh, but it worked better than what you had in mind and that's the direction that you want to go so we did a swimming pool dial maze watch which some people call the german graph paper and some people call the swing wall sure. i guess that sort of did not follow the path but it ended up looking like a great product and of course it ended up being the best-selling gmt and sold out mm. in a couple of months and yeah we today we get regularly asked for quite a lot of references in, 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 including the lander chronograph that zach is wearing today yeah thing th th things just have a way of evolving that the world timers did not come out the first time. They were two, three times. Mm -hmm. Because it's very difficult to get a dial with that much detail, but retain clarity. Yeah, you know, you I'm know, sure. So. But they look, and this is the most important part for us, is that they look part of a joined up family. It's interesting you say that. And I think one of the things that I've noticed, uh, particularly about you with the collections like the Field Watch and the, the Pilot's Watch here, is it's not just a single watch. It's it's a single watch that's been kind of reinvented three times, yeah, uh, we, right? It's, it's not, uh, well, we'll just do a different color dial on that one. It's a complete rethink of the watch in the same frame. We tend to um, want to avoid the three color versions of one dial yeah. because in a lot of cases, um, our customers buy all the versions okay. of the watch. 
and you wouldn't have that opportunity I think if you so for instance you know these are brother and brother sister and sister or brother and sister whichever way you want to sure. uh, refer to the Carnegie and Benina but they are vastly different watches in every way but the architecture the architecture of that watch is identical sure and this is something that uh, seems to evolve yeah. you've got two watches here these mono pushers uh, this is the Seagrave I believe in yeah. the Cobb uh, and those are names that uh, are not new with these watches no uh, no no so these are really um, the mono pushers are you know probably one of the words in the watch world overused inspiration so but you know I can't think of a better one after a long sure. flight from England fair enough so the Seagrave particularly is quite close to the original Seagrave mm -hmm. automatic chronograph the cob is a little further away you know some folks have gone mm, not sure that's the cob but it's meant to be the inspiration of it um, sure. uh, most relevant the yellow which was a big feature of the original cob but we cannot do that original chronograph anymore because the 2894 is not available in circulation. Mm. But we have a, I can't do a year without a chronograph. So we have yeah, more yeah. chronographs coming All right, in, 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 in 2022. <laughs> back end of 2022. Right. One thing I love in particular about these watches is some of the work that's going on in the case. Uh, yeah, the relief. Here. Is this yeah. something that, uh, where did this start? Where did, the, where did this pattern come from? So actually, this came from the fact that, that we had done um, the manual wind traditional two button chronograph. And we wanted to delineate, obviously we, the bezel has gone back inside the, the dial, if you like. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you take the bezel inside the dial, it gives you an opportunity to add a further dimension to the watch without cluttering it. And mm. that's the flanks. Now this is actually a bordered harlequin relief, which is solid part of the case. These aren't applied, that's part of the case. And this is a technique that we, we learned to do just recently. It's quite difficult to do. It's easy to do on a flat surface, it's quite hard to do on a beveled surface. We have a new cushion case wind-up watch next year. That's going to have a barley finish, like a a Dunhill lighter, so we're, that's a sort okay. of further dimension that we think we can appropriately play with. It won't go on everything, obviously. Yeah. I just think it gives something extra. I mean, I personally, I really like how this 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 finishes. Yeah. And the Monopisha hasn't come off my wrist a huge amount of time. Yeah, no, they're just mm. beautiful. It, the, the, the details on the case, um, uh, just like a lot of your other watches, it's something that, to discover. It's yeah. something that you can keep coming back to. Yeah. It's not going to hit you in the face uh, right on the top, but you know, maybe later on, oh, the color of that yeah, yeah, running yeah. second hand. You didn't hand, see that straight away. Yeah. Yes, it's something to find and discover. And I think the bronze details on the midnight here are a perfect example of yeah. that, um, that you might not catch at a glance, but when you stop and look, and it makes you want to stop and look yeah. at your watch more yeah, often. Yeah. And then when you add that, I mean, look, everyone believes they do the best straps in the world. But but the but the and you know you guys do a great strap, <laughs> but the but the color of the strap, which is meant to support the dial and bring out the dial, yeah. these are the things that are really important. And we've really narrowed into this marine blue, this um, argyle green, and the, I mean tan is the biggest color forever. But this Saint Veneer pattern that we finished really lifts the watches, and 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 it's not a formula because that's that's that would just. I think be too simplistic, mm -hmm. but it, it's a palette. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A palette of things. So you, you've you've alluded to a few things that we can expect. <laughs> oh um, my God! What so uh, can can we expect more of a kind of a version 2.0s or you know other kind of family brought so back? So 2022, mm -hmm. for the first time, I'm, I'm it's almost a bit scary the size of the program. It, you know, I, I, I may be even concerned that we may be doing slightly too uh -oh. much. Okay. But the, the Stanhope, which was a 37 mil hand wound, very popular model, that's coming back in a new case March. Uh, but prior to that, the Aqua Compressor range will return, refresh with new straps, a Lander LE, okay. and a titanium quick release bracelet, which is very in demand. Yeah. But next year is yeah, it's full on packed. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then obviously, um, we see that there, or maybe not obviously, but we see there are opportunities for dial variations of some of our current architecture to repeat. Sure. Well. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm excited to see all this. Uh, we're always excited Thank to you see very much. Much, uh, Thank what you. you guys have in store. Uh, Paul, it's been a huge delight uh, getting to spend some time with you and see the new watches. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here in New York today. Uh, you're very, very welcome.